Welcome friends, we're Bob and Fran. We're both in our 80s and we are all about healthy aging. Today is going to be a good one. We're going to share with you a variety of tips and techniques that we use personally to prevent illness. Now prevent is the big word here. Yes. Prevention is so much better than treatment. We are not professional medical people in any sense of the word, but we do a lot of reading and a lot of research. And this is what we've sort of come up with. This whole idea of early detection, uh, I don't know. The, uh, the better idea I think would be just prevention by improving and building a strong immune system. That's been our key to being healthy at any age whether you're 28 or 82. We also believe that you don't get permanently well unless you permanently change the way you live. So we've created a list of action steps that we use and that can help you to increase your immunity to disease. The first one is about what we eat. Yeah. We believe it's most important to include more whole grains, fruits, and vegetables in your diet, and to significantly reduce sugar, salt, and oil, as well as saturated fats that are found in meats and dairy products. And we, uh, we do a really good job at that. Fran has, has become a, a very good cook, and uh, we eat healthy every day, and uh, it's, it's been our, our key to a healthy lifestyle. The second thing I, I think is very important is that we exercise every day. Good weather, bad weather, in the house, out of the house, we keep moving. And so we would suggest that uh, you develop some sort of daily regimen that uh, involves the, an exercise uh, program. It could be walking, it could be uh, biking, you could do some swimming at a YMCA that's near you or whatever. Uh, you could practice a yoga or qigong or tai chi, but keep moving. We've actually started doing chair exercises yeah. following uh, some videos on YouTube where we sit and we build strength in our core and in our upper body as well. So exercise, it's a key to building a strong immune system. Good. We also recommend that you get seven to eight hours of sleep each night. The cells in your body actually repair while, they, while you are sleeping. So that period of time when you're sleeping is a repair system to improve your immune system. That's, that's, uh, that's interesting. So I know personally, if I get a good night's sleep, and I know if you get a good night's <laughs> sleep, uh, we're up and running from the, as soon as we get out of bed. It just seems to last throughout the day, real good yeah. energy, and uh, we feel great. One thing I want to add to that is it's important to get into a practice of going to bed and getting up at the same time each day so that your body gets used to this routine uh, instead of staying up really late one night and going to bed early the next yeah. night. So that, that's important. Our routine is more or less going to bed around 10. People might laugh at that. But we get up at 6. Yeah, but so. we get up early and we're ready to go. You're right. The next thing that's important to strengthen your immune system is to maintain a healthy weight. If you go back to our first suggestion about eating more of a whole food plant-based diet and cutting out the sugar, salt, and especially oil, you will find that not only will you be able to maintain a healthy weight, yeah. you will actually be able to eat more and lose weight. Yeah. That's been our secret. Yeah, we eat a lot. I mean, <laughs> we, uh, the, the diet that uh, Fran uh, has us on, and we've been on for 15 years now, uh, boy, we eat a lot of food. We never we never walk away hungry no. from, a, but, from the dinner table. But we don't table. gain weight. No, we don't. We still weigh the same that we weighed. High school. <laughs> yeah, when we were first married. Okay. 58 years ago. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so uh, 
Washing your hands is another way. I know it sounds very basic and very simple, but wash your hands maybe more frequently than you have in the past. We find that it's a very good thing to keep the germs away. And uh, with the COVID thing going on, it's more important than ever. Now, ask your doctor about supplements that might boost your immunity. Research has shown, for example, that vitamin C and D3 may be valuable in strengthening your immune system. We, that's what we do, but we are not medical professionals. So please check with your doctor. Keeping a positive outlook is another way to, to build your immunity. We believe that what you think is what you will become. I mean, we all know people, we know, we know some people that are sure that they're going to get the flu every year. They tell us that. And what happens every year? They do. They get the <laughs> flu every year. So we say be positive, that you will stay healthy, and we believe you will. Now, I don't know if you've heard this or not, but stress is a very important factor in compromise in the immune system. Definitely. As a matter of fact, studies have shown that stress can play a big role in almost any illness. So with this in mind, it's very beneficial to find positive ways to reduce stress in your life. How do we do that, Bob? Well, I think the easiest way is to uh, develop a mindfulness practice. A mindfulness practice means that uh, uh, it, it keeps you in the present moment. It keeps your mind at ease. It keeps you from being angry about something that happened in the past or maybe worrying about or fearful about something that you think is going to happen in the future and probably never will happen in the future. But that idea of being in the present moment is very good for you. It just clears your mind and it calms your body. We think a meditation practice, daily meditation practice is a good idea and a Qigong practice, we do both. And uh, we have a pretty stress-free life. It feels good. Having solid relationships with family and a good social network is good for you. Yeah. Studies show that people who feel connected to friends, whether it's a few close friends or a large group, have stronger immunity than those who feel alone. Yeah. Now with COVID right now, of course, we've all gotten pretty much uh, into Zoom as a means of connecting with people. That's good. Yeah, absolutely. That's still a connection. So whether you can do it in person or you do it through Zoom or uh, FaceTime or whatever, or even by telephone or by your cell phone, it's important to stay connected with others. And there you have it. Uh, a strong immune system is the key to preventing disease and disability. So we advise you to work on it every day. Hopefully you've learned some things here and you'll implement some of these things. And you could do us a big favor by uh, adding your feedback in the comments section down below. Your feedback is our fuel. It keeps us going and producing more videos like this so we can share and help each other on this journey of living a healthful life. So your feedback is important. Sharing this video with others would be uh, some, a real act of kindness, and helping others. And if you could just subscribe to our channel, and give us that thumbs up button that you like us, that would be fantastic. So with that said, we look forward to uh, being with you again soon and sharing more information like this video. So we'll see you. Bye-bye for now.